Imagine being in a place where you can choose between three or five new concepts of the vehicle strictly on the aesthetics of the vehicle because you know that each one of those ideas has been refined to hit the engineering targets. We can create a new idea, an entire vehicle, an entire top of a vehicle in one day and simulate that overnight. So now you're in a position where you don't have to make these engineering decisions late in the design process when it gets very expensive, but you can really look at the engineering and the performance of the car when your ideas are still on the sketch pad. That's the time you want to make your engineering decisions. Simulation is a critical part of design to be sure, but accurate simulation is not enough. Uh, when we analyze the results, it's very important to understand why the object performs the way it does. To set up a, a, a design process whereby we can pose a question one evening and overnight come in the next morning, look at the simulation results and understand the behavior of the problem we submitted last night. But the process goes much further than that. In that morning when we really understand how the flow is moved over the A-pillar and around the boat tail of the car, uh, we can reformulate our ideas on how we need to shape that car using Inspire Studio. So this is really at the end of the day it's not constricting the designer but it's opening up a lot of design freedom. Now you're thinking in terms of the aesthetics and the engineering becomes much easier to manage and you manage it early when you want to, when it's easier to make compromises, and it's much, much cheaper to make those compromises. Ultimately, our vision is to create an environment where people can come together and share ideas and understand and communicate with one another. Because after all, uh, cars are designed by people, not by wind tunnels.